Hello and welcome back to John Can Fix Anything. Today I'm going to show you how to change the battery on your 2017 Chevy Silverado. Now this will also work with several of the other models. Uh, mine is a V6 model, 4.2 liter, but it'll also work with the V8 models. So if you want to know how to change that stubborn battery out of your Silverado, stay tuned. Okay, so here's a few things that you're going to need. Uh, I highly recommend you use uh, rubber gloves because you're dealing with uh, batteries and battery acid. A good pair of safety glasses. I go through almost all of my videos and I really uh, believe safety glasses are just absolutely required. Uh, make sure you use the safety glasses. You need a replacement battery of the right type for your uh, Silverado. Now I'm using a local brand. It's a D DECA and it's a 4.3811. And if I'm not mistaken, it's 680 cranking amps. Okay, that's the one for my 4.2 liter, and I believe it's also the same one for the V8 models as well, but just verify it. Uh, you can pick these up at Walmart or wherever you want, wherever you normally go to your, to your uh, parts store, you can pick up that battery that you need. And also while you're there, I highly recommend you pick up some terminal protectors, okay? And then some um, no corrosion as well. We're going to put that on the terminals and we're going to cover, put these down on the base of the terminals and we're going to coat the, the terminal before we put them back together. Also, I recommend uh, a terminal cleaner as well. I don't have it here on the board, but uh, a terminal cleaner would, is, is going to be necessary as well. As far as tools go, um, you're going to definitely need a pair of pliers because you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to work on pulling off the terminals, and you're going to have to pull out. And if you're if you're like me, my original battery did not have any handles on it, so I had to get a couple of these pliers to lift my battery out. You're going to need a number ten. Um, it can either be a socket. I've got both. I've got a number 10 socket and then I've got a, a wrench as well. You're also going to need a 13 millimeter as well and a fairly long extension. You can probably get away with it on a 13 millimeter um, open or closed end, end wrench as well. Now that's a pretty good start. Um, probably a screwdriver uh, as well as we get into the uh, as we get into the change, the battery change, I'll kind of go through things, and as I, if I add tools, I'll add them on. But this is a pretty good start right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get everything moved outside, and we'll get started. Okay, so here's a uh, quick look at the battery itself. And all the automotive manufacturers, not just Chevrolet, have done us a great disservice by adding all the complexity to these batteries now. You can see all these different uh, cabling coming in, all kind of different grounds coming from both sides, uh, both positive and negatives. Used to, you had one positive terminal, one negative terminal, you undid that the, the bolt, pulled it out and then swapped it out and you, you could be done in, in 10 minutes or less. Now it's so complicated you can barely even jump the vehicle anymore with a pair of jumper cables. Anyway, on the Silverado, and this is a 2017, this is a 4.2 liter V6, it's packed in right in here by your, um, by your cooling, and I'll show you how to get around that, but you've got a support bar here, you've got one, two, three 13 millimeters uh, bolts that have to come off, this, this support has to come off, then the cover, uh, and then we've got to loosen several things up. So I'll go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and um, loosen that up and then I'll show you again as we go along. Okay, and again, this is a 13 millimeter. It doesn't matter where you start. Um, you can start at any one of these um, bolts you want to. Uh, once you get it started, they come loose pretty quick, and then you can just use your hands. Okay, you can use a regular wrench. You don't have to have a socket if you don't want to use a socket. I happen to have it, so I'm gonna use it. And you can see it comes loose uh, relatively quick. This this vehicle isn't very old, and it's in really good shape. I've kept it up over the years, so it's uh, it looks pretty new. Do not lose your uh, bolts, which I've dropped them. I've done everything in the world to them. 
only takes a couple seconds to get this off, but can't get to the battery without it. So just go ahead and take it off. Don't, don't try to work around it. You're not going to be able to. The uh, bar, the center bar, support bar does not have to be removed. Okay, and that just comes out that that easily. I'm just going to put it over here out of the way, put my bolts with it so I don't lose it. And then now you've got a really good look here at the top of the battery. I'll zoom it in here. Readjust there. There we go. Now you can see just what I was talking about, about all those other uh, wires and everything. There's also some wires on the other side that you can't see as well. Okay, so here's a little pet peeve thing that I've found out. This cover, you're supposed to be able to put a screwdriver in three points, actually four points. One, two, three, four. And it's supposed to just pop it out, but it doesn't work that way. Um, and I don't know why. Um, they say that you can do it, but you can't. Okay, so you just gotta, you're gonna have to go in here like this. Okay, just do it nice and easy because these, inside of these, they so easily. I had to re-glue one once before. See, there's the cover. This is if you're doing, uh, if you're jumping it. Okay, there's your positive if you're gonna. Okay, so now you can see the big, uh, mess of uh, wiring that I was telling you about. I have no idea why they chose to do all of this engineering nightmare, but they did. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get this off and we're going to have to get this one off here and then the one in the back off there and then this this uh, it looks like a positive support cable that goes right into the, the whole harness. These three over here, you don't have to take those apart. We're going to do it here, 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 and down there. And this is a 10 millimeter here. I want to say if I remember right, this is a 12, but I, if it is, I'll tell you as I go along. This is a, a 8 or a 10 right here. And this just pops out. You can just take your screwdriver right there, pop that out, and get that out of the way right off the bat. Okay, and just put it down push it down there on the side. Okay, now uh, deep wells are going to work better um, on this one. Uh, it's going to be difficult, or you can use a wrench, your, a regular wrench if you want to. Standard socket will work back on the tins. Okay, and I will go uh, grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I get back with my 10 millimeter and that's just on the top of these terminals. They're, they're both uh, 10 millimeter. Okay, I've got an extra set of um, lights while you see this extra uh, extra positive here. I'll go ahead and pull this. I'll have to go ahead and take this all the way out for, for mine. And it's probably better that you do it for yours as well. Just to go ahead and take the top completely off. Be careful. Don't lose it. Okay. Slide that down there. And then I'm just going to put this right back on washer and the bolt. And just leave it loose. And then I, this is a 13 millimeter deep well. And I'm going to have to go grab a deep well real quick, but I'll go ahead and get that back one off. Get it loosened up anyway. And see that one's loose, we can just go ahead and take that ground off and slide it over there. I do use terminal protectors, so and I'm gonna I showed you the new ones and put those back on because make sure you use those, that way it'll keep that corrosion down. Okay, now this one, the positive one, because of the way it's set up, it's usually a little harder um, to work. So you're probably going to have to have a pair of pliers for it. Okay, so we just take that and I just go wide on the pliers. Just switch it back and forth a couple times. Loosen it up. Should be able to come right here on the top. 
if you gotta use the pliers more, you use them more. Pretty easy, just like that. Okay, pull that off. Now I'll go get the uh, get that deep well socket, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I've uh, got my 13 millimeter deep well, and that's exactly what size it is. Go ahead and loosen this up, which doesn't take much either. Okay, now that's got to come all the way off. Okay, set that off to the side. Pull that up. Just to make sure it's loose. Okay, now what you should be able to do is take, see there, this, there's a piece right here and there's a piece right here they have clamps that go down on the bottom, okay? And again, you're supposed to be able to put a screwdriver in here and pop them out like that. And, but I, you know, they don't, they don't tend to work well and they tend to break. So I'm just gonna do the two that I know are good. And I'm gonna go in on the side of this instead of in there because I don't wanna break it again, okay? Because I've already, I broke that one out one time way, way, way before. All right, so now this will just come right off like that. You can just put it right over there just so that it clears. And now you're completely clear of your battery, okay? Now this one has handles. The original battery won't have handles, okay? So you're going to have to have a couple of pair of pliers or vice grips to put on the terminals. Now you've got down here, and uh, let me grab the camera. I'll show you. Okay, right in here. That's the bolt that holds the battery onto the plate. Okay, that's a 13 millimeter. So you need to go ahead and it's better to have a um, extension. You can have a regular socket for it. Okay, so you go ahead and take that one out. I'll do that real quick. And then uh, I'll show you how to angle the battery to get it out. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is that holder, okay? 13 millimeter, uh, it does take a pretty good length socket. You can also do it with a wrench, but it's just gonna take a heck of a lot longer, okay? You need to go ahead and take it completely off, okay? Then, basically, we're, we're, we've got everything removed now, okay? There's nothing holding the battery in. I've got everything tucked away. So what you do now is if you've got one with handles, you can go ahead and just pull this, uh, the, this end closest to you, okay? And just tilt it up. You wanna tilt it upward, okay? And you're gonna have to slide it towards, towards you, okay? And then you'll clear. And you can clear this tank right here, okay? You don't have to worry about it. Just like that. See, I can go ahead and take it completely out right now. Let me just do that just to show you. Okay. Just like that. All right. Now, if you don't have the handles, then you're going to have to get you a couple pair of pliers, right? Like this, or vice grips would be better. And you're going to have to vice grip your terminals, and that's how you're going to have to lift that up, and it is a royal pain in the butt, and that's what I had to do the first time. Okay, so be prepared to do that, all right? So I'll go ahead and swap this out. Okay, so got the new battery in. Make sure you take a terminal cleaner, rough up those terminals. Even, I know they're brand new, I get it. Rough them up anyway, okay? Um, battery uh, connectors don't like smooth terminals. And I can't tell you why, it's just the way it is. Okay, rough those up. Then I don't put um, I don't put the gel on until after, so I let it stick metal to metal. Okay, but I do put the terminal protectors on. Okay, don't forget to do that, or you'll be redo redoing it. Okay, so now I got the terminal protectors on. 
the battery set in place, I'm going to go ahead and put this support back on, hold the battery down, and then I'll start bringing everything back and putting it back on the battery. Okay, so I will do that and I will be right back. Okay, I got the battery uh, secured with the uh, battery support, so now I'm going to go ahead and grab this, pull it back around. There's a little um, plastic piece that goes th through to, holds on to your uh, upright support, so make sure that clips back on there. Just like that. Just click it down. My neighbor's dogs are barking at me. Okay, so now I've got it all clipped back on. That just slid right back on. The positive just actually slid right back on. So go ahead and I'm not going to tighten that up just quite yet. Okay, I'm going to pull these two back out. Okay, this one goes right here. All right, this one plugs right back in here. Just like that. Okay, let's get the back terminal. Bring it over. Apologize for my doggies, or my, fr my neighbor's doggies. They're actually pretty good dogs. Okay, as soon as I did that, you saw a little spark there. Okay, so I got that back on. And that's a 10, 10 millimeter. Okay. Tighten that back up real quick. And I can't forget to put my positive lead back on for my, oops, see that spark there? And just leave that negative off. That way you won't have any sparks while we're doing this. Okay, put that one back on, 13 millimeter. extension anymore. Got that tightened up. Put my positive back on here. I've got a little and that's just for my lights. I've got an extra set of lights and that's what that's for. If you don't have them, you won't have that on there. Okay, and this is a 10 millimeter. Tighten up that positive. I already got the other negative tightened up. Okay, now that's tight. This is tight. This is all tight. Go ahead and put the ground back on. Okay. And you're going to see a you're going to see a flash when you do that. Okay? So just get ready for it. Not going to work around batteries without seeing sparks. All right, so tighten up 10, tighten up a 13, tighten up a 10. Okay, make sure you put your terminal um, protectors on. Now, the only thing we need to do is put on the gel. Okay, I've got some gel here, and I'm going to grab that gel and I'll put it on, then we'll show you to put the top and the, put the brace back in. Okay, no corrode battery gel. You can reuse this several times. I, I have, this has been open for quite a while. Just use your finger, right over the top of the terminal, over the bolt head, just like that. Right over the top and the bolt head. Just like that. Okay, wipe that off. 
Now we're ready to go ahead and put the uh, cover back on. Okay, now this cover, you know, of course, has to go over this terminal. Okay, and it's got four, four places that it locks down. And I have to do it the right way, of course. Just like that, I believe. Okay. And it'll pop in place just like that. Okay. Now the only thing we got left is to put the support back in and the three bolts. I'll grab them real quick. And I think probably the center bolt is the easier one to put on first. And then it kind of supports the others. Um, they have to go in underneath. They can't go on top like that, okay? They gotta go in underneath. Just like that. And just get it started. Remember, they gotta go underneath all three. It's gotta go underneath this and underneath the one on the other side and then on the back. If you try to put them in over the top, it's not going to work. Okay, underneath. And I mean, once you know what you're doing, it really doesn't take that long. But if you've never done it before, I'll tell you what, first time I did this, it was a royal pain in the butt. And uh, I was uh, not real happy with the manufacturers or anybody else at that, at that particular time. Pretty long bolts, um, so it takes a little bit to get them up there and get them tightened up. Don't tighten it all the way, just snug it once you get it up because you want to make sure your others are in there as good as well. Okay, come over and get this one. That one was almost snug already. Get the center one again. Okay, just hand tight. I don't, uh, I'm sure there's a torque specification for it, but I didn't use it and I didn't look it up. Okay, then just check them all, make sure they're good. That's good, and check my terminal back here one more time. Good, all right. So there you have it. Um, that's how you go ahead and change that battery out for the first time. I realize it's a pain, but you want to do it because if you take it to the dealer, they're going to charge you a lot of money for it. And they're going to want you to use their battery, which is a lot more expensive than just going and getting it from Walmart or your local battery store where I got this one from. Okay, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and better yet, give us a like for the channel. We sure appreciate it. And we will see you next time on John Can Fix Anything.